One such farmer in Wujesra district of the eastern province who was exporting hot chili pepper to China says the outbreak of the virus means his produce is going to waste at great cost to him. During the season, they came and bought the chili and we waited for them to return in vain. We then called them and they said that their market distributions had been affected by the coronavirus on the 19th. We are losing a lot of money because we borrowed money from the bank for this chili growing project and now we have had to plant these hybrid maize cobs just to try and salvage the situation because we do not have anywhere else to sell the chili. Other agricultural exports have also been affected, not just Chile, and Gakuru says local markets should be found for such produce to avoid similar problems in the future. Officials in the private sector federation agree. Problems like these show the need to bolster the local industrial sector so that the country can become resistant to problems on the international market, just as the Made in Rwanda initiative emphasizes. We are happy that Rwanda is working to grow its local industries because the Made in Rwanda initiative not only solves problems in the local market but also helps global trade as well. Other major local manufacturers like Sina Girard, who both grows chili and manufactures his own chili products, says they are willing to up production and meet local demand buying from smaller farmers like Akuru. The private sector federation says it is vital that Rwandan manufacturers understand that there are many opportunities that should not be wasted if long-term development is to be achieved.